Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and what I'm going to show you in today's video is arguably so stupid that it's going to shake your faith in MTI as a concept for a long time forward. Okay, so the truth is I've been typing people for a very long time and so I've learned probably more tricks than most people can know today. And there is one trick to typing that is so stupid but works so well so in such a high amount of cases. And so before I get into that, yeah, you might be wondering why I look so sunburnt. <laughs> well, the truth is I just arrived in Barcelona on Tuesday. So yeah, I'm currently enjoying uh, the hot summer of Spain. And um, yeah, so Sweden and Spain, you know, I'm absolutely suffering. I am like uh, walking through the heat and I'm like, uh, dying and I'm like oh yeah I should probably not be out between two and six I should probably just stay in and just enjoy the wonders of air conditioning uh, and shadows and fresh wind <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, learning exercises anyways so you might someday encounter some person that is so difficult to type that you're just absolutely frustrated so you're listening to them tell their story and you're trying to understand what kind of personality they are and they're saying so many contradictory things or perhaps they're just saying very useless things perhaps they're just saying an absolute bunch of nonsense like you have no idea what to do with this stuff why are they telling me this what am i supposed to do with this and what does this say about this person how do i know if this person is really being themselves right now right now there is one trick that you can use that actually can work in these situations and that is to look at what kind of people they have dated in the past or what kind of a person they are currently dating. Okay, so while in general the truth is any personality type pairing can work if both people are mature and the truth is, you know, if you learn to communicate with the different personalities you'll find it a lot easier to build healthy relationships and to enjoy and have a lot of fun with any personality type. You know, the truth is most people don't know the MTI and get confused on communication and have different preferences and expectations and don't understand their partner's behaviors. And so we tend to choose a certain range of partners. And so if you look at their partner, and you can tell that their partner is, for example, clearly an extroverted perceiving personality type, for example, an ENFP or an ESTP or an ESFP, you can assume that the person that you're currently trying to type is most likely an introverted and judging personality type. And now that is because, in general, extroverted perceiving types tend to, in general, go for introverted judging types. So here you can see the letters are flipped. The letter is for intuition and feeling and thinking and sensing, less important. Most important for dating and relationship choices, significantly, consistently, statistically, appears to be to go for an opposite. And that's why, in general, constellations where an introvert and perceiving type is dating an introverted and judging type or an extroverted and perceiving type are relatively rare, which means that most likely if they've had a long-term and stable relationship with another person, it's probably because they're an extroverted perceiving type and because in this way, in modern culture, we tend to assume that our partner should be opposite to us in terms of preferences and temperament. So if we are very calm, our partner tends to be very enthusiastic and bubbly. If we are very enthusiastic and bubbly, we tend to seek a partner that is relatively calm and stable, right? <laughs> and these things come down to not necessity, not fate, but true cultural practices that we're taught and how we are supposed to relate to one another and the idea that, you know, your partner has to be a complementary opposite in the sense that they have to be able to match your temperament and style, right? And so, yeah, that's the most stupid typing hack you can use because actually it's not 100% foolproof, but statistically it does give you a suggestion to what type you're dealing with or at least what their temperament is. Please don't use this hack. Use it as a statistical correlate, but not as an absolute given rule. That's my advice for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.